guys, this is Ben at Mackey. I'm here to show you the new DL1608. 16 channel digital mixer combined with the ease and portability of the Apple iPad. As you can see, the main user interface to our mixer is the iPad, and that's where the power comes from, but let's talk about the hardware first. That's where all the digital processing, the analog conversion, the mixing happens. We have 16 of our famous Onyx mic pre's. All of those are on XLR with four of them on combo jacks. We have six aux ends and your main left right. All of the input processing. We have EQ, comp and gate on every single input. 31 band graphic and a limiter on all the outputs. There's a reverb and a delay with dedicated sends. And again, all that happens in the DL1608 hardware. The iPad just does all the control. The iPad can be used in two different configurations. I have it slid into the tray here, and it is connected over the dock connector, uh, give me wired operation. I have an optional lock here to keep it in place, but the fun happens when I remove that and slide the iPad out and go wirelessly. I have a second iPad here connected wirelessly, so as you can see, two iPads can be used at once on the same mixer. In fact, up to 10 iPads can be connected wirelessly to the same console. This is great. You have a front of house engineer can mix while a monitor guy walks uh, and tunes the wedges. You can have every member of the band mixing their own monitors from an iPad on stage while the front of house guy does front of house and walks around the room. So very, very uh, flexible and it, you're, you know, your ideas just start to flow when you think about all the different possibilities that a wireless mixer provides. But let's dive in and look at the interface. As you can see, it's uh, very simple to use, very familiar to anyone who's ever mixed uh, anything before, but it should be very easy to pick up for someone who has never mixed before. Let's take a look. First, you see we have eight faders on the screen at once. These can be swiped left and right to show me my input channels, one through eight, nine through 16. My master fader remains on the right side always available, so I always have control of that master. You can see I can load channel icons onto the channels, help me identify that channel, there's my keyboard channel. I can even load images taken from the iPad camera onto the channel, making channel ID even easier. Let's talk outputs. Right now, I'm looking at my left-right mix, and the faders are showing me my left-right sends. Swiping up, that gives me my aux one mix and the aux one master. Swipe up again, aux two mix, aux two master. Very fast to go back and forth, or I can just jump from one to the next, skipping all those in between. All the channels have what you'd expect. I got a solo, a mute at the top, pan. I can grab multiple faders at once and adjust them simultaneously. You'll note the faders grow and glow, giving me nice, confident feedback that they're under my control. That's the mix view. If I want to adjust some channel processing, I simply hit the EQ at the top of the channel, when I release, I switch over to that EQ view. Master fader is still there on the right side, always available. Channel fader on the left. I can grab any of the EQ balls, swipe them around, pinch to adjust the Q. I have a four band EQ with shelf and bell on the, on the bands one and four. I have a sweepable high pass filter as well. Swiping up shows the gate and the compressor. Swiping up again, shows me my channel processing, the reverb and the delay. Swipe back down. I can even go forward and back to the next and previous channels. Pressing mixer takes me back. Finally, press the graphic, and there's my graphic EQ for the main left right. Swipe up, there's the output limiter on the, out, on the main left right. As I said, I have graphics on every single one of my outputs. Finally, the iPad that is connected wired to the mixer has a 17th channel for playback. This is the iPad channel. I can stream music from the iPad for intermission music or to stream backing tracks that I may be integrating in with my sound set. Finally, I can record stereo signal from the mixer into the iPad, push it to the button, I'm recording my stereo mix, and I can, at the end of the show, it's ready to be uploaded to the internet, onto my website, burned to a CD, ready to go. There's lots more to tell you about the DL1608. I've just barely scratched the surface, so please check it out as soon as you can. Mackie.com, the new DL1608.